Well hello there YouTubers and welcome to MFM. This is Chris at My Factory Models and this is the final reveal for the Airfix 172nd scale 1970 Fallen Nat T1 or Trainer 1 from number 4 Flying Training School Royal Air Force Valley Anglesey Wales United Kingdom. Yeah, so uh, five star, five stars for this kit, I think. Um, any of the errors that I encountered, I think, were mainly of my own, you know, yours truly's errors. I mean, there was a little bit of filling underneath the fuselage, which uh, possibly could have done with a little bit of a better fit, you know, in the mould from the mould itself. But on the whole, it is a precision kit really is for the money it's a precision mold very nice model and uh, looking at it now I love that kind of lo lean loping look it's got for uh, want of a better expression uh, so yeah the colors used in the build basically you've got some silver number 11 silver well I didn't use humbrol colors that's number 11 silver you've got your 33 matte black that's a decal there that's not actually painted it's just a nose section that's painted I think that's the only part then you've got your uh, satin white which is 130 uh, in humbrol and your 174 signal red for the standout colors uh, underneath you've got your light aircraft grey for the uh, for the wings under there. I'm, I can't move them off to show you just right now because uh, I've not glued the canopy on because I want to take some more photographs of the the uh, the aircraft inside. I was quite pleased with my efforts on the on the crew compartment. So uh, you can see that on the photos anyway. The light aircraft grey. Uh, yeah, any difficulties encountered during this really? Uh, well, it's just mainly my own <laughs> my own rants and whinges on what I don't like about making model aircraft, uh, which is mainly the canopies, which I'm getting slightly better at, but really it just stresses the heck out of me. And uh, also the decalings are not great fun either. That's another stress merchant right there. I mean, the bigger ones, you, once you've done the first 10, you know, the larger ones, that's fine. I don't mind that. But then with these modern jets, there's... Uh, you've just got millions of microscopic I mean I'm talking microscopic you can't even see them you know and it really does slow the build up for me I know that's all part of it and etc but it kind of just detracts from the enjoyment for me personally but obviously when it's all done and you've persevered you've just got to be persistent you need like the patience of a blooming saint uh, once it's all done you know you do get a sense of satisfaction but I think you know as a a teenager or as a beginner I don't think I'd have even put anywhere near half of half as many of those transfers on as a kid I wouldn't have done it I probably didn't do it <laughs> but uh you know as the years roll on boy roll by uh, I feel I've got to uh, see it through so yeah I'm really pleased with that build really pleased with it it's not perfect uh, perfect doesn't interest me I mean maybe the colors could have been a little bit brighter and glossier um, personal preference I kind of like it a slightly dulled but I mean yeah the oh, oh the other thing was the weathering has been kept to weathering has been kept to an absolute minimum on this uh, there's a very very light raw umber wash over the aircraft just to add a little some slight definition between the uh, diffuse large sections say there your tail sections uh, but on the whole I left well alone no no real panel lining very very little of that and like I say no real no real weathering on it it's just you know another build straight from the box uh, you know from some of my earlier efforts where I kind of didn't really know what I was doing with the panel that whole panel lining kind of fetish that's going on uh, you know you realize that hang on this actually looks really bad <laughs> and uh, but now I see it that a lot of these modern jets, you don't really see much of the panel lining on it at all. 
And anyway, they were highly maintained, you know, looked after, polished and pretty immaculate planes, especially as I think I've waffled on on the other video, especially these uh, show jets, you know, your red arrows. Well, even the, uh, even your frontline combat aircraft as well. I mean, they were highly, you know, highly maintained, which they would be because they cost uh, millions of the taxpayers money. So, you know, we're not talking about toys there, are we? But here we're talking about a model. And uh, yeah, great little kit, highly recommend it. You know, it's one of those you, you, you'd quite happily build another one. Maybe in a larger scale, I think I think FX have got a 148, but I don't have, really have much room for bigger kits like that. And if I do make them, they're going to be uh, probably more like World War II, you know, propeller driven. But, uh, the other, other thing with what, what's good about this is there isn't loads of ordnance to paint up. You know, it's a pretty clean jet. So that's rather nice as well. You've, you've got loads of ordnance, you know, to decal and uh, protruding out everywhere. Some people like that, but you know, each to his own. Um, so at the end of this build, I'm going to uh, put a few uh, photos on the end of this video for you, so you can see it in all its little red arrow glory, its fallen that glory. But uh, yeah, on the whole, a very enjoyable kit. You know, like I say, it's a pretty, it's a pretty much, it's the, the, it's the recent batch of uh, FX's new, new tool and kits, and uh, they are a real sort of uh, leap forward from their older, their older models. But uh, yeah, really do enjoy looking at this now rather pleased with it. I think it's one of my better efforts so far. Um, so yeah, so stay tuned on here for the uh, the photographs at the end and then we'll see you on the next video which could possibly be me. I've actually started a mesh uh, BF-109. I might as well. I made the, uh, the Mark 1 Spitfire so do the Battle of Britain pair So there we have her, the resplendent Fallen Nat T1 1970. See you on the next video. Bye for now.